Now, of all the families of weapons inside of Destiny, I would say fusion rifles probably got the biggest change at the beginning of the season. Fusion rifles like high impacts going from a seven burst fusion rifle to a five burst. Rapid fires now shoot nine bolts instead of seven and playing with all of them. We know the sweet spot for PVE is still rapid fires. But what about PVP? At all these archetypes, which fusion rifles outside of Vex Mythic class has been the best for us? It turns out precisions have felt phenomenal and i actually want to bring up two today one of them is of course plug one a weapon you can obtain from the nightfalls with the adept version dropping in grandmasters and the other one is main ingredient which is supposed to still be a world drop but fellas let me just tell you there's a lot of things as a world drop so getting a main ingredient to drop for you may be difficult but funny enough if you had simply hung on to that god roll main ingredient it is absolutely meta right now today fellas we're going to go through a number of different roles and really narrow down which one of these fusion rifles is number one the better fusion rifle and of course which roles you should be going for first i'm going to start with plug one that's still kind of fresh on our mind again 740 charge time precision frame and i would say for the most part precision frames as well as adaptives are relatively the same they still shoot seven bolts in one burst and their base charge time is also unchanged but they got a slight increase in its total damage per burst now it's not necessarily a drastic increase on a per bolt case going from 40 damage per bolt to now 41 base but that one extra damage per bolt really starts to add up, especially when you start to take into account damage fall off, which Plug runs into. Now, discussing the gun rolls in the previous sandboxes, Plug is relatively the same here. I love my under pressure roll with Thresh. A lot of people like corner or kickstart, and I even have a corner heating up roll. And by the way, heating up is disgusting on a fusion rifle. And this roll overall is probably my favorite roll inside of 6v6. And if you're wondering why the damage numbers are lower here inside of Iron Banner, I actually intentionally dropped my level low lower so I can finish the iron banner bounties quicker but even with the reduction there in damage it's still melting people people just don't understand we're in a fusion rifle meta but for some reason everyone's still hugging their shotgun despite getting shredded by a fusion rifle over and over and I think it's just because people haven't caught on that fusion rifles are actually meta especially plug and main ingredient overall though guys I would say for this role the god rolls I've discussed before are still the god rolls and pretty much what I have here is still fantastic I haven't messed around with kickstart as much and I I kind of am steering away from kickstart a little more kickstart under pressure has always been a role we refer to as being one of the better god rolls and the reason why i'm kind of steering away from it even though it is better with the increase in damage securing more four bolt kills kickstart in general does require you to slide which by the way we did get a slide nerf where our stability is hurt mid slide now magazine perk wise liquid coils and accelerated coils essentially still work the same i have an accelerated roll and it actually drops my damage now from 41 to now 40 40 damage per bolt of course it does speed up that charge time which does make it better in tighter maps and considering you got tighter maps you have less range there where you might get sucked into an engagement the chances of you running into damage fall off is not probable which is why i think accelerated coils can actually still be a play here as 40 damage per bolt is still going to secure you the kill in five bolts now i don't think liquid coils is necessary for pvp yes it does increase that damage it'll throw it up to 42 damage per bolt but it simultaneously raises that charge time long story short guys i don't think the trade-off is worth it for liquid coils accelerate coils yes we're still within that five bolt range liquid coils not so much so for the god rolls for pluck under pressure kick start under pressure thresh under pressure corner and i would say under pressure pretty much for everything that involves a 1v1 or trials and for sixes trade that out for heating up it's pretty nice the only other magazine perk i would suggest though when pairing with any of your god rolls is of course particle repeater as i find that to be a fantastic perk in constraining those bolts now for the most part i've always said that plug was the best fusion rifle in the game amongst legendaries however main ingredient has changed my mind now it was meta back in year one y'all remember going off with main ingredient inside of trials when it used to be a heavy weapon main ingredient is back and back with the vengeance very similar to plug in a lot of different ways when you actually do a comparison between the two it really only has just one extra range over plug and its base default zoom comes in less however main ingredient has scopes whereas plug has barrel perks scopes are important here guys because they can influence our zoom as well as our range it's not just an overall bump in our stats but in our hidden stats so i really suggest leaning into things like red dot 2 moa or my favorite red dot micro now we got to play with two god rolls one was on less's accounts it came with red dot micro particle repeater under pressure and high impact reserves now of course high impact reserves elevates that damage a little more which definitely helps in damage fall off 
off territory, although it doesn't necessarily change anything here. It's not like you're going to suddenly get a four bolt kill. You're still going to be required to land five bolts in a single burst. However, main ingredient, I honestly think it's natural bolt pattern. It's just tighter than that of plugs. I know plug has a default recoil of 75. It is technically more vertical than that of main ingredient, but just being vertical doesn't tell the whole story. The tightness of those bolt patterns is important and main ingredient possesses the tightest of bolt patterns as well as just crazy accuracy. I find the weapon overall just feels really, really good jumping from target to target despite again, plug having superior stats, higher aim assist, higher zoom, better recoil direction, etc. Now, Les and I made the bet that his main ingredient wouldn't reach 23 meters. We tested this and his role could only kill me up to 22 meters, which shocked me. This essentially matched that of plug and I always thought that plug was the superior fusion rifle and it's one hit kill range. But turns out main ingredient can go even further from Nick Toe here. He had the role that I had already seen some clips of red dot micro particle repeater under pressure and range finder. Now the clips I've seen were scary, man. Main ingredient is able to get kills at 25 meters with a single burst. Big shout out to Solar Rex for sharing this clip with me. This is actually him and his friend Andy testing their main ingredient role, which is essentially the same exact role that we're reviewing here with range finder, of course. And yes, he's able to secure kills at 25 meters. Put that in perspective, guys. That's surpassing that of high impacts in its kill range. Needless to say, guys, there's been a reverse in our thought process toward fusion rifles. Previously, high impacts held the mark when it came to the best one hit kill range. And I know there's some people right now breaking out their OG Aaron tails and they're like, yo, hold my beer. But outside of Aaron tail, precision frames like main ingredient is truly the best legendary fusion rifle in PvP. Now, row wise, I honestly think it could get even better because range finder under pressure is a nasty, absolutely. But range finder firmly planted. If you always go in for the slide before shooting, firmly planted will 100% be activated, which not only increases stability, but also accuracy and handling while you are crouched. But even outside of the range finder role, guys, I was so impressed with just base main ingredient. It's apparent to me right now, especially in this sandbox with the damage increase for these fusion rifles, that main ingredient inside of PVP appears to be the superior fusion rifle, even in comparison to Pluck. I love Pluck. Pluck's been my baby, but even an adept plug falls short to main ingredient. Roles I would really consider though, guys, I do like under pressure, high impact reserves. I love range finder and under pressure, firmly planet, range finder, tap the trigger under pressure. You want to just like double up there on stability and increase accuracy? Go tap the trigger, firmly planet. Seems kind of overkill, right? Probably so. Regardless, regardless, red dot micro, particle repeater, or even projection fuse. Although I still suggest particle repeater. It feels like the full choke of fusion rifles combined with any one of these traits will be a meta fusion rifle in your hands. Fusion rifles require you to play differently. You have to play more baity. You have to trick your opponent. And there are a multitude of ways of doing that, whether it's playing off the radar, baiting them into hallways. But if you perfect that play style, there's going to be so many shotgun rushers you shut down. I literally played entire rumble games where no one used anything but a shotgun and I absolutely shredded everyone that I came into contact with. So guys, try out both of these fusion rifles today. They're very good and they're not only good inside of regular crucible, but they're also good inside of trials. Let's use this God roll main ingredient all weekend long last weekend and racked up a ton of kills with it. Hopefully I too will get a God roll here of main ingredient. If you know of any direct way of farming for this weapon, let me know. I will pin your comment down below. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.